Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Dina, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. So, you have some questions about verbs. And specifically, it looks like in the email that you sent me, you want to understand more about the past tense and the past perfect. And you also want to understand about the present simple and the present perfect. And, uh, and specifically how these verb tenses compare or contrast. Let's talk about the simple past and the past perfect tenses first. So the simple past is used to explain specific events happening in the past in a certain order. The simple past focuses on one past on one action which has a clear beginning and end in the past. On the other hand, the past perfect tense is used to look at a certain time in the past and to talk about an event which happened before that time. The past perfect focuses on two actions in the past, and the one action has a clear beginning and end that happens before the other past action. To understand more about these two verb tenses, there are specific, what I'm going to call signal words that are used, which kind of force either the simple past or the past perfect. So let's look at the simple past first. Here are some signal words you might want to be aware of. Uh, words like yesterday, last week, a month ago, in 2015 or this morning. Example, yesterday Tom completed his research project for his Biology 100 class. Last week, Angela and her family went to the beach. A month ago, Michael and his family moved from San Bernardino to Oak Hills. Fawn went on vacation with her family in 2015. This morning, the Oak Hills cross-country team ran 15 kilometers at an easy pace. So notice, in these cases, with these signal words, we're talking about an event which has a beginning. Remember, we're talking about one event which has a beginning and end in the past. Okay? Now let's take a look at some common signal words. For the past perfect tense. By the time, when, before, until, and said. Example. Tom had completed his project by the time his vacation started. Notice, we're now talking about two actions in the past. Of course, the, the completing the project is the first pass action, and the vacation starting is the second pass action. When the students arrived to class, the professor had already administered the exam. In this case, again, we have two pass actions. The first action is the professor administered the exam, and the second ac action is the students arrived at class. The next one, before we left San Bernardino, we had lived there for 11 years. In this case, we have the one action is living in San Bernardino for 11 years, and then the second action is uh, leaving San Bernardino. Okay, next one. Junko had never seen the Hollywood Walk of Fame until she visited Los Angeles in 2016. Again, we have two different past actions. One, we have uh, Junko visited Los Angeles, and then the other one is she had not seen this particular uh, uh, tourist attraction. Finally, we have said, Kentaro said that he had not traveled to the United States. So, the one action is, he had not traveled to the United States. That's the first action, and then the second one is what he said. So, both actions occurred in the past. Let's take a look at two sample sentences to further contrast the simple past and the past perfect. When Tom saw the gorilla exhibit at the San Diego Zoo, he was speechless. Notice in this timeline here, we have the present is right in this area, and now we have two different things happening at the same time. Tom is speechless when he sees the grill exhibit. 
So both of these actions happened in the past before the present time frame. So he saw the exhibit and he was speechless when he saw the exhibit. Now let's go over here. When Tom saw the gorilla exhibit, he had already seen the lions. Now in this case, you can see the present uh, kind of time frame here. We have two different actions in the past. First of all, Tom saw the lion exhibit here. And second of all, he saw the gorilla exhibit. And that's why we have this sentence like this. When he saw the gorilla exhibit, he had already seen the lions. So the main difference here is the past perfect tense is talking about two different actions in the past. The one occurs before the other past action. Let's take a look at the simple present and the present perfect tenses. Simple present, typically used to express habits, general truths or beliefs, habitual actions, emotions, and wishes. Present perfect often used to talk about an action in the past, which is important in the present, to focus on recently completed actions, to refer to, to refer to, maybe I will say this, I'm gonna say this, to refer to an action in the past still continuing in the present time. And maybe here, because I said habitual actions, we probably do not need to say that either. So typically used to express general truths or beliefs, habitual actions, emotions, and wishes. So this gives you an idea about why we use these verb tenses. Let's talk about some common signal words used to, to help explain more about the simple present and the present perfect. So let's take a look at some examples for simple present first. Always. Pat always does her taxes in March so that she will have them completed by the deadline in April. Often. Valerie often exercises when she's on vacation. Usually. Usually Michael studies for a TOEFL exam in the mornings before work. Sometimes. Sometimes Chuck takes his family to Disneyland when he doesn't have to work. Seldom. Professor Thompson is seldom late for his expository writing course. Never. Helga never drives too fast when she travels on the freeway. Every day. Gregory practices soccer every day after he finishes school. Every week. Almost every week the students take a vocabulary quiz to test, I should change this word to their mastery of English. Every year, every year Mary and her friends vacation to Las Vegas for two weeks. On Mondays, on Mondays, English language program, on Mondays, English language program teachers must submit their attendance to Jorge Rosso. After school, Paul goes directly to work after school. Okay, now we've kind of looked at some common signal words for the simple present. Let's take a look at some signal words for the present perfect. Just. Sally has just completed her research paper. Yet. Ferris has not completed his master's in business administration yet. Never. Nauko has never gotten a speeding ticket while living in the United States. Already. Banco has already taken three university courses at California State University of San Bernardino. Ever. Alan has not ever traveled to Australia. So far. So far, no one has taken any direct video footage of the elusive creature known as Bigfoot. Up to now. Up to now, Carlos has not been able to find gainful employment after finishing his collegiate studies. 
recently. Recently, Zoolander has traveled to several countries to promote his new movie. Since. Since 2013, Daniel has lived in the campus dorms at California State University, Los Angeles. Four. Daniel has lived in the dorms for several years. Notice I put since and four at the end. These are very common triggers for the present perfect tense. In conclusion, let's take a look at some sample sentences with accompanying timelines that compare the simple present and the present perfect. So first of all, we have Ian works in Los Angeles with his friends. Now here, we're kind of talking about a recurring uh, idea, a habitual action kind of a deal. So clearly, he started working uh, in Los Angeles in the past. This is something that he does regularly. It continues throughout the present time frame and beyond. So that's why I kind of did my timeline like this. Now, when we compare it to this one, since 2009, Ian has worked in Los Angeles. It means we have to go back a few years, right, to a specific time frame of 2009. And he started working back in 2009. And he continues to work in Los Angeles up until the present time frame. So in this case, I'm not using it as a habitual action kind of a thing. So it's slightly different than the other sentence that you see here. And that's it. So in this video, I just compared uh, the simple past and the past perfect along with the simple present and the present perfect. For more information, you can go to my website at onlinetoeflcourse.com.